Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, before I start, you can see that uh, here's the rider crank, and I am simulating a rider pedaling with a belt and a large motor down in this control box here. You can see you'll be able to keep an eye on the speed of the crank with this little green dot, and then there's another green or a green dash, and there's a green dot right on top of this here. And then this motor down here, this is our speed ratio motor. So this is what's going to give us all of our uh, different gear ratios that we're going to have. It's going to change the output. So, and then this motor here is our general assist motor. This will just be used for, you know, extra, extra kick based on how much you require or how much you need if you're going uphill, that kind of thing. And then it will be able to monitor the speed of the output with this little white stripe here on the output shaft. This uh, pinion would then be attached to another bevel gear that would be on the rear hub of the bike. So that's how you would uh, transfer that power to the rear. So I'm going to start off. You'll be able to see the the crank spinning. Right now I've got the speed ratio motor set to zero, so it's actually holding. That gives you a direct, the lowest gear ratio that the bike will have. Now I'm going to increase the speed of the speed ratio, and you'll be able to see the output has now increased here, while the rider has not increased their speed and they would not feel any additional torque. So this is very similar um, at least most of this is very similar to how a uh, hybrid car works, where we actually have two inputs into a system that then power the output. Now I'm gonna go up in speed one more time, and now our output's going a little bit faster still. Again, with no increase in speed to the end at the output uh, for the, the user. So one of the benefits of using the the bevel planetary, or this is very similar to like a car differential bevel, is that we're able to maximize the 3D space instead of just using spur gears, we'd have to kind of grow in every direction. In this case, we're actually able to both grow in the axial direction as well as the radial direction. That way we can maximize the, the diameter or the thickness of these teeth for higher torque capability, uh, longer life, uh, etc.